it's your boy T Bear here in the reaction. So today's really usually Friends Friday, but I'm gonna kick things off with some news and reaction. So what well news and reaction involving wrestling because um I'm not it's, I do not wanna have to wait all the way to Wrestling Wednesday to do this, so I'm gonna get this out the way. Kicking things off. So apparently recently um John Mosley part of AEW, formerly part of WWE as D. Ambrose, especially our uh, enter rehab. I was wondering why he uh was had Miro take uh, his place in the match against Orange Cassidy, but but I I heard something about this and yeah, so it's been known that he's entering rehab due to alcoholism. Uh, the news was announced on um, by I'm, I'm reading the website. The news announced by Tony Khan, the founder of AEW. John Mosley has let me share with you that he is entering an inpatient alcohol treatment. John is a blood member of AEW. We are all stand with him and Renee and all his family and he, as he shift this focus to recovery. John is making a brave choice to get help. We're embracing his choice. We are, and we are embracing his choice and supporting him however we can, however we can. I'm proud to call John a friend and many, and um, until then, thank you for respecting John's privacy. So, yeah. So, that's good that, um, why, well, I mean, I didn't know he's going through that. I'm not sure if he decided to do that or it was because it was because of the, um, I'm not sure because, uh, did the book he really built it or something like that. But either way, it was good, though. And also, big shout-out to CM Punk this past week on AEW Dynamite. Giving a big shout-out for John Moss. He said, he said, that's not the chest you want to hear. You no, know, the crowd chatting CM Punk. CM Punk. He said, that's not what we're hearing now. Right now, I want to want to recognize John Moss. You can tell him, like, tell him who he's going for. Cause you know, CM Punk is all about straight edge and all that and seeking help. So, yeah. And he's also put out that anybody needing mental help that need need is uh, always good to seek mental help, whether it's mental or with alcoholism or any kind of help, though always seek it though, which is good. Now, the main reason I'm doing a news and reaction. <sighs> Here we go again. So, Duddy E has. And we have got some news as of yesterday of some releases from WWE, and the three the other pictures I have three, three of them I have pictures up I have picture up is one of them, and I'm going to put another one up as well too, which is probably the cool one, the one that's on there. Hold on, if I can get it. Save and not, uh, of course, I gotta play. I gotta play uh, peekaboo. Oh, got it. Here we go. So, yeah, so you see them? There's some of the names that got releases. Can you believe that? So, let's go down the full list, but let's 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 start from the beginning. So, several uh, 17 wrestlers. Same, same, same. Um, website. Uh, was posted this. New reports. Several of seventeen wrestlers wrestle. Uh, come on, get down here. So, several of the seventeen wrestler released in surprise move by WWE on Thursday night are speaking up. Multiple big names, including former champions, upcoming stars, have begun sharing their thoughts on social media. So, let's get down to people who got released. I got the list right here. I posted it on my. My community, if y'all said already, a, 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 a partial list, and then all. But yeah, Duddy had made some releases for folks for both NXT and the main roster. So we're gonna go down the line of the people who released. Frankie Monet, best known as Taya Taya Valkyrie. Taya Valkyrie didn't even get a chance of a whiff of a well, one match for the championship, I guess. But Taya Valkyrie already. Anyway. Ember Moon, as you see right there. And the rest goes on. Jet Jess Camilla. Katrina Cortez. If you heard heard her, she was the one with the, the Luchador mask. Jeep Rama, who just had a match against uh who was it? Uh uh the Usos the Usos, uh brother. Oni Lurkin, one half of the uh one two. Trey Bur Trey Baxter, who just 
best known as uh, Blake Christian, who has supposed to have an on-screen relationship with Cor- Cora J, but how that gonna go? Zay Ramirez only had a uh, job as she had a surprise win, but um, anything best known as AQA. S- B Fab. Now, n- now we get to the main roster. Somebody who just got up to the main roster work who hit roll. B Fab is gone already. And. And it's, it's the, officially the end of the Lucia House Brothers because Grand Mental League, Lince Dorado, Lince Dorado got ticket is 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 gone too. Harry Smith, best known as AKA Davy Boy Smith Jr., is gone after they try to bring back only for house shows. Even for me, you know, I don't miss that, but I made a joke on Facebook about saying that. I bet even feel like uh, New York won the season finale of season two finale of Flavor of Love. Remember why she bring her back? Yeah, why you bring her back is you gonna do all that. And the last but not least, let's get the other way. Scarlett Bordeaux, who's best known, and her boo, Karen Cross is gone. Keith Lee and his boo, Mia Yim is gone. And last but not least, Nia Jax is gone. And earlier, I, I just mentioned about some mental health, though. She's taking a break from mental health, but because of budget cuts, then it wasn't enough to keep her. And also, her and others heard that other re- reason for the release is that some of them are unvaccinated. Whew. So, on a, uh, and then I made some news not too long ago that uh, Bray Wise 90 is up, so we'll be seeing him somewhere else soon, but oh boy. And I thought it was supposed to be some more news on releases coming out, but it hasn't happened. So, so I'm gonna say all the all these releases I mentioned, and Jackson fucking Riker still has a job. Anyway, whoop, Whew. I don't know what's going on with Duddy E. Folks are saying he might be selling that place. I don't know. The ones that pissed off me, that kind of irks me a little bit. This now I'm saying this out of all count. This is no lime or anything a lot because lime is not the one that said they releases. But just the fact of for but I'm not not for anything go for anybody go there. I'm not gonna donate any alignment or anything. I'm all I'm all about the faces and the tweeners, the, aka the good guys and the anti heroes. But I'm lurk there in Baroon. Did her dirty. Know what I mean. Did all the way dirty. Did good in it. It was your first one in NXT. Then brought to main roster. Didn't do new much with her. Brought back down. Looked like look promising, but didn't do much with her. Frank Monet, I'm really I'm really pissed about. Cause I thought they not do they they did not do her justice like she been doing justice in other places. And her husband not they not doing anything with her husband because they went for Miz. Anyway. Uh, sucks for Orlando Lurkin because he was doing his thing, anything. Now Jessica Mia, Katrina, Katrina Cortez, G Rama. So pretty much, uh, the Robin Stone brand is gone, and Robin Stone is still there. So I don't know what's going on with that. Trey Baxter, I was hoping to see some more from him. Zeta, they didn't even give give her a chance. Now we go to the main roster. Like I say, Grand Medley, Lisa Dorado. I guess they could find enough else to do with them because um, Lucha House probably been dead since uh. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Kalisto, you know, Kalisto made an appearance on AW recently. Um, we oh yeah, uh, B Fab, that just pissed me off right That sucks. That sucks. You, she, she, if, if she wasn't gonna be a rush, you could have kept her as a valet. That, that could, you could have kept her as a valet at least. But whatever. I'm not sure how Hit Row gonna be the same at the morning because now I'm like really have, have worry about Hit Row right now. I really am. Uh, Harry Smith, that was just, that was a total waste, man. Had me have us hype of him coming back and, and they have a little promo in um, the WWE exclusive for just to release him. Didn't do nothing with him. I could have seen, but it was, it could have been a lot of potential for his comeback, but whatever. Uh, Eva Marie. Yeah. Um, but still, why y'all bring her back if y'all did all of that? Just bring her back, just release her, like, really. But yeah. Keith Lee, though, man, me and yeah, me. First of all, me and him didn't give it a chance at the retribution and all of that. But Keith fucking Lee, how you fucked that up? 
how you fucked up Keith Lee. Now, the bright side is I gotta worry about him going to hell or anything, but how did you fuck that up? How did you fuck that up? Crayon Cross 2, how did you fuck that up? Well, I'ma say this. If now they feel like Am Cole's promo to him wanted or that, that little promo they have against each other was in a Am Cole pretty much ended his career with that promo. That's that's pretty much what it's said right now. But my thing is this. I'm well, now I'm admitting that, and I didn't like the decision in the first place when Keith Lee was the double champion. The first one, him relinquishing the North American title to give him another chance. Okay, I get that a little bit to give him a chance, but to have him lose it, lose it on his first pay per view defense to Karen Cross, who then end up fucking up his shoulder and he had to relinquish it to say the, the, the next one. They come back, win again, and have this run just to, just so he can get moved up to have him lose to who was it? Uh, Samoa Joe, just for him to get get up to the main roster and get and fuck that up. Mm. And then on top of that, Samoa Joe relinquished the title for injury. I mean, gl- gl- shout, shout out to Chopper holding it down, but still. It's like that whole thing was a big pile of bullshit mess right there. And then, and Nia Jax. Now, I understand mental issues or anything, and then folks and then folks have a problem with her, how she handles stuff in the ring. And then, I won't be surprised that instant between her and Charlotte might have escalated, might have escalated this uh, release as well, too. But damn. <sighs> I'm like slowly, slowly, slowly giving up hope on WWE. I mean, I and I and I don't want to say this and say screw WWE. I'm going to other other spots, but I can't. But I have my grace with the other company as well too. I mean, AW they're doing anything and both Impact doing anything, but I have my grace as well too. AW with this over signing it up, folks. And I mean, it's, and, and sooner or later it's going to be like they got too much people on a squad right now. Hold on, what the fuck? I sorry, I lost my spot. Uh, I lost my thing or anything, so um, it's gonna be part of being edited out. But anyway, now I lost my train of thought, though. But yeah, I heard, I, I wouldn't be surprised that shit with Nia Jax, uh, with, with Charlotte might have actually her chance for getting released and re- re- well too. So other than, but yeah, I was saying. Oh, uh, now nah, I remember saying, like I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say F W E. But then again, I don't want to. Um, but then again. I, you know, Impact and, and, and AEW is doing their thing, though, that I have my gripes with them, too. Like I said, I'm still not fine. I understand they wanted to get removed to title, but I'm not, fond, I'm not fond of how the way they did that at all. I'm not condoning. That that was bullshit. That was bullshit. I don't care if, if it's Black Excellent or not. I mean, Black Excellent, yeah, but it was still Black Excellent or not. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. Again, he's a heel, but that was still bullshit. I'm saying I feel bad for Josh answer Alexander for that. AW had their little issues. Well, I have my my things AW here and there as well too, but it's not like as big as it is with WWE. Well, then that, huh? I'm still gonna watch Friday next SmackDown and see what's going on. If we gotta deal with that tr- that tribal douchebag who begs for announcement, that's holding the title right now. Anyway, unless they. Miraculous turn for face just just cause. If you like my reaction, I doubt it. But if he doesn't, then the only then I will acknowledge him. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.